It's possible I might get interrupted while I'm covering this. I am not going to cover the whole thing. Because, um, like one of my viewers said in the comments, one of the comments in one of the, one of the other videos I covered by Radiant Brett said, I can't stand her, basically. Um, I can see why. Because she keeps talking like she's some sort of expert in these, these things. But says, like, some of the stupidest ass shit when she's doing it. Um, let's see if I can get back to where she covers. There it is. The, I, I just want the... I, I, I just want the, the footage that she got off of Channel 2 News in Utah. So, share with you guys the body cam footage from this traffic stop. What the hell was that? She doesn't have an actual ID right now? She's got fucking paperwork? <laughs> What's going on with her with her license? Five. I'll be back real quick. By the way, he said she was going 57 in a 35 per mile zone. That is reckless driving. So let's pause for a second. Okay. According to Google, driving in Utah is considered a class B misdemeanor, uh, which means if you are found guilty, you could face a fine of up to $1,000 or up to six months in jail. Uh, reckless driving is a class B misdemeanor punishable by zero one eighty zero to 180 days in jail and a minimum fine of up to $1,940. What happens if you get a reckless Drive, reckless driving in Utah. First time offenders can be subject up to six months of jail time and $1,000 in fines. Moreover, your license can be suspended for not that that matters. She's in jail, but the, the, the financial penalty and the addition to jail time on top of what she's facing now, I think kind of matters a little bit. Anyway, I just wanted to, um, you know, take a look at that because nobody's talking about the fact that if you're driving 57 in a 35, I'm sorry, that is, um, that's not just going 10 miles over the speed limit. All right, let's get back to this bullshit. Okay, here's your info back. citation for speed. You guys are going 57 and a 35. I wrote you down for a 50. Um, you have five days and no more. See, he wrote her down for a 50. So he was reducing the penalties she would face in court for this citation. This event happened five days before her children were discovered in bondage. 14 contact Santa Clara Justice Court. It shows right there in that little box right there. And then just have the phone number right there. Okay, you have any questions for me? Okay, just slow down for me, please. Thank you. What on earth is Ruby Frankie doing driving around Utah at four something in the morning? 
literally driving around at four something in the morning. Not just not just driving around at four something in in the morning. Driving around in Ivins, Utah at four something in the morning. Three hours away from her actual residence and right next door to Jody Hildebrand. Are you gonna miss that point, Britt? Speeding. I have many questions as to where was she going? Where was she coming from? Um, like, why are you in such a hurry? I get it. Like, we all speed once in a while, but why are you speeding at 4 a.m.? Like, what's going on? I do think that it makes sense that they went ahead and dropped. Well, Britt, do you think you could get away with that kind of 57 in a 35 at any other time of the day? When else could you possibly drive that fast in such a slow zone? Right? Like, some of your questions don't make any sense, you know? This charge, I don't, um, you know, give, giving her this traffic violation, honestly, like, I would rather them focus all of their energy and time on moving forward this child case because um, those children need justice. This needs to be seen all the way through to the end and ruby frankie for now i am very glad that she is still sitting in jail because i've said a hundred times that is where she belongs but like i said i would rather see resources time and attention be given to making sure that this child here she both sides the argument again brit you're not a dumbass Traffic court does not use the same resources as criminal justice court. These are completely different staffs, completely different judges. It is totally different resources. Okay? So, no, you're not taking resources away by pursuing her for that traffic ticket. God damn you. I, you know, sometimes I hate, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to go and unsubscribe to your channel because I, I can't fucking handle this bullshit anymore. Case against her and Jody is picking up steam and moving forward so that these kids can close this chapter and move on to rebuild their lives. Um, you know, Ruby, nothing will ever be the same for any of the Frankie family. Um, you know, Kevin's family, Ruby's family, like nothing will ever be the same. I don't care. I do not care what's going on with the adults in that family. They fucked up. They are fucking up with all of their children, not just Ruby's children, but even the other children who are being exploited and I am done with your channel.